boys oh, over here. I quite know he is. Well, it's the first double hookup on <laughs> I've ever had. Especially that size, that's insane. In 2016, we bought a boat we aptly called Mood Swings, primarily as a platform to film our online fishing courses and to travel to remote fishing destinations. Our latest journey heading south was plagued by mechanical issues, but not to be deterred, we decided to head north after the repairs and put up with the challenges associated with monsoonal weather. Oh. Hi, I'm Ryan Moody, this is my wife Karen, our two sea dogs, my mate Maxie, and our fishing weapon from the blue boat. Join us on our northern adventure as we have a few dramas, see some amazing locations and catch some great fish. Heading north to Lizard Island and beyond. Well, this place reminds me a little bit of uh, Hinchinbrook after it was hit by a Category 5 cyclone, Cyclone Yasi back in 2011. But uh, four, five, five, six years ago, this area had uh, two consecutive Category 4 and a Category 5 come through. Uh, Lizard Island was pretty badly belted up as well, but up in this Melville, Cape Melville region is where it really copped it. And as you can tell, same thing as uh, Hinchinbrook, lots and lots of dead mangrove forests. For this type of damage, it takes around about 30 odd years for the mangroves to come back. It's starting to get a bit, bit of regrowth back there now. Some of these dead patches starting to cover up with the smaller trees coming through, but it all takes time, good old mother nature. Ooh, oh, 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 snag city. <laughs> <laughs> if this was, if this area wasn't so remote and it was low tide, there'd be like nine million lures along here because it's just like, <laughs> the boys have already been hooked up a couple of times. Luckily we haven't lost a lure yet. Ah. Oh. Over the, you're lucky. You're arsy, aren't you? I'm, a, I'm not arsy. I'm a little bit rusty, oh. I think. Um, we don't have a lot of bait today. The, there's no garfish. There's really not many mullet. We saw some herring back where the water was bluer, but we really are not getting a lot of uh, activity in the way of bait or anything chasing bait. A couple of trevally followed our lures. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit poor up in here, and it may be because of the water quality. It does have that green tinge to it rather than that silty tinge, which I prefer. So had a lot of rain lately. Maybe a whole heap of fresh water has been pushed over to this side of the bay and all the baits scattered. So we're going to move up here further, have a look at the other side of the bay. If the fishing's a bit slow in here. Well, we're going to look at doing some other things uh, like finding some detachments in the bay uh, just around that slightly deeper water. Well, we've got a bit of a beach area up here. We might call in, stretch our legs for a minute. And we might even try and catch a few liveys, even though we're mostly lure fish. I will give them a, a go uh, before we leave the area. Go and do some live baiting. Some garis. All right, we'll take a few of these. All right, mate, we'll go and put those in the tank. I'll get rid of the rest of these. Okay, we might head up here and look for a few more mullet. They're a little bit scratchy, there's not that much bait around. There's quite a few gar there, but as far as the nice size mullet go, there's not a heap. So we're just going to look up the road here a little bit further. I'm just looking forward here. There's plenty of uh, gar, diamond scales, but not the really nice silver mullet that I like, like the fantails and the, the bluefin beach mullet. Keep on looking. Some good mullet here, once again, ones I'm after. Perfect. Beautiful bait size. That's what we want. Very good. Well, a couple of good casts on the right size mullet. And our live bait tanks are loaded for whenever we want to use them in the next few days. So let's go and explore another part of an Indian Bay. So it's getting pretty steamy. So we've dropped the dogs off at the boat, grabbed some jig rods, and the boys are hoping to redeem their day by catching something in the deeper water. 
Well, we're just going to look around, look for little bits and pieces, look for something new, hopefully, and see what comes off it. And bearing in mind that we're like surrounded by rain clouds and we've got washing on the line, uh, we'll just keep an eye on that and head back if we need to. Hopefully, with uh, after a bit of action. We'll see. Uh, there's a few there, smaller fish. Let's have a look around further. Yeah, a bit bigger there. There we go. There, nanny guy. There, finger mark. And what's that? That's a rock ledge. Oh. Okay, we've just arrived at a new spot we stumbled on this morning. Looks like there might be a few finger mark here, maybe some small nannies. I'm actually straight over the side, straight into a nanny before I can get my lure back on. <laughs> there he goes, beautiful. Maxie's got two fish in the boat before I can even get a lure in the water. Okay, it's a slightly better fish. Has it got a mouthful of chips? <laughs> a bit better than one of those little cod. Trevally maybe. Yeah, small Trevally, but they fight pretty hard. What it is. Oh, it's Queenie, sorry. You don't like Queenies, do you? Hey? You don't like any fish. Alright. This guy's foul hook, that's why he was he was taken off. I'll just grab those pliers and let him go in the water. What do you reckon? Don't like Queenies? Don't like any fish, Dad. <laughs> just want to bite them, destroy them. We do see some water spouts this time of year coming out of these storms and bad squalls. Water spouts just like a uh, tornado except it's full of water and uh, it operates off the same principle as far as I'm aware. Been pretty close to one once but uh, they can do some damage to you if it's a big one and it gets your boat. Go on. On the way down, mate. Yeah, Queenie. Oh, yeah. He's got a bunch of mates with him, too. Oh, what's that after him? Was that a... I don't know. Another Queenie? It looked really dark. It looked like a tuna following him. No doubt about them. They're a good fighter. Flyers. Well, they can be nuisances at times, these things, but still good fun. Let him go straight away in the water, rather than pull him out for a photo. Go on, off you go. That's the best way to treat them. Get them straight back in the water. They're very fickle. Okay, back to jigging. Hi guys, sorry to interrupt the video. If you'd like to learn how I find new spots and catch trophy fish in areas I've never been before, did you know that I teach it all in my online fishing courses? We have thousands of students in over 70 countries taking advantage of my 30 years of guiding experience. So head on over to the website, Ryan Moody Fishing, after the video and take a look. If you want to improve your fishing, that is. Right, let's get back to the video. Oh, he's oh, over here. I know he is. Yeah. I'm not Come going on. to put my jig down now. Big fifths, what they might have been. Yeah, the other bits of everything here. Those pliers are on the seat there, Maxie, if you want to just take the hooks out in the water, mate. Right on, mate. I've got a jig going down. Off you guys. I'm glad you're catching them and not me. <sighs> They're so frustrating, aren't they? <laughs> hey? So many queenies here. I just hooked up one on the way up. Luckily, I pulled the hooks. Another three came after it. So we're just going to zigzag around this little area, see if we can find a better school of fish. That might be the one big massive school, is it? We'll soon find out. Oh, Let's give it a was... try here. Maxie's on. Oh, yep. 
I'm on two. I think we might have found the finger mark. Oh. Finger mark on Nanny's, not sure yet. Yeah, I know. Yours is coming up high in the water. Yeah. Oh, let's just hope they're not more queenies. <laughs> One's heading towards yours a bit. I think I'm just this side of you still. Yeah, I'm underneath you, mate. Right. Yeah, you're heading out wider. So some massive skills of pelagics here. Now yeah, this guy's giving me the run around. It's probably a queenie to take him under the boat like that. Oh. Man, this thing's just gone like 16 miles out the other side of the boat. Nah, I'm gonna have to come around. Can you lift the motor up, please? Okay. Round and round the boat. <laughs> Bandit, I think. Oh no. Big queenie. Big queenie? <laughs> Wow. Oh no, what's milkfish? Oh, a giant herring. Herring. Oh. That's a new species on the uh, oh. on the levitator. I caught them on the pillages. That's a beauty. They pull like crazy, eh? Oh, tell me about it. That'd be what I've got as well. Giant herring. Because they go, yeah. especially at that size. Oh no, there he goes. Yeah, I got one the same. Look at this. How's that, giant herring? Wow, they are huge. <laughs> wow. Oh well, a couple of giant herring on the levitators. There's all sorts of things here. <laughs> okay, let's drop back down and see what else comes out of this school. Hopefully no more giant herring or queenies. Well, it's the first double hookup on giant herring I've ever had. <laughs> Especially that size, that's insane. Yeah, good. They go like crazy, eh? Everything's just starting to get a bit worn from catching so many fish on them. Put another one on and go down. That's it, mate. I've got some spare uh, assist hooks there too. We can... Yeah, that one needs reed rigging. Yeah. Ryan. It's only caught about 20 fish. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, actually, we've got a blog on how to make your own assist hooks. Too. All right, found another good school. Probably a bit of everything in there, but hopefully some finger mark close to the bottom. So the jigs have just gone down. So we'll see what comes up. Ah, oh, this one's feeling a little bit Trevally-ish. I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> I think it's that time of day where the pelagics are still feeding, but the uh, demersals, every time we've gone across the demersal schools, we can't get a bite. Okay, let's get him up. Oh yeah, no, it is, it's a uh, nanny, is it? Or a... Oh, it's a little finger mark, sorry, this too. Well, what we call little for this spot anyway. <laughs> We've still got a bit of fish at back of the thing, so we might let him go, eh? Oh, Maxie's not on. again. Oh, Maxie's got another queenie. Spin it. <laughs> oh, Maxie's got another queenie. <sighs> Jumping out of the water. Come on, mate, <laughs> just drop it. I'm glad they love you, mate. Oh, he's, gonna, he's coming up. Maxie and the Queens. Oh. Sounds like a rock band. <laughs> I'm not trying to, trying to get it down fast without jigging or moving it, but here he comes. Can't this get through them. Went yeah. Today it's been silver. Can't get through the queenies and the giant herring. That's it. Anyway, let's get him back in the water. I'll let this guy go. Yeah. Little finger mark. Can't complain. Any finger mark's a good finger mark. All right. Little finger mark. There he goes. Took off under his own steam. <sighs> right. Nice bar cheek wouldn't go astray. Well, Maxie just uh, ran into another queenie. One too many, I think. <laughs> so uh, we've dropped a couple of finger mark. I've got a little one. 
other pelagics. We had a bit of fun. We've got to get in. We've got a rainstorm coming or a thunderstorm. We don't know what yet, but well, Karen's uh, washing's on the line. Oh, there's another school of fish. Let's just drop down. Now. <laughs> Batteries are running out in the camera. Yeah. Wife's sunburned. Washing on the line. It's getting hot. Dogs have been dropped off. We've yeah. been going for two hours. It's been five. All right. Well, we had to explore the bay. We had to have a we good did. look. Yeah. Well, look at that school of fish. How can you drive one? Oh, I know. How can you drive past that? <laughs> one more cast. Anyway, we're here, more. For a, here for a couple more days, are we? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So um, we might fish some wonkies tomorrow out a bit wider, see if we can get a few different fish. Fun session, though. Yeah, it's pretty hectic. Bloody... No more Red Baron. No, no, no. It's, all, it's all right. Silver Tomorrow, no, no, no. Silver today. Silver Biddy today. Still got the title. He's still going to roll me. He hasn't rolled me. Silver Biddy today. The TC hasn't rolled me yet. No, I haven't. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Well, let's get back and have some rumbos and settle in for the afternoon. Yeah. Join us in the next episode where we continue on our offshore adventure. In the meantime, for fishing tips, workshops and fish planner tuition, visit our free training page at ryanmoodyfishing.com. There's a link to the gear and tackle we used on this trip below the video and to follow along here for the rest of the trip, please like and subscribe and we will catch you in the next episode.